Uh, to, to fifth is a, is a good ride. Across the line they come then. This is the final lap. The gap is 0.4 between Ray and Biaggi. So Biaggi did a very good lap there and in fact was four tenths quicker than Ray. He has a chance, but this is his last chance because this is the final lap. Checker's going to settle for third. Biaggi's got one last throw of the dice. I think Johnny there, because he saw possibly on the lap before on the pit board, he might have got 0.3 or 0.4 of a gap and realised that he, he, he'd maybe got it in the bag. But Biaggi then just set a 37-1, which is close to the lap uh, le record in this race and uh, if, if, if Johnny doesn't just hold it together on this last lap I think we actually could have a sniff towards the end of it here we go then final lap James I'll leave it to you to tell me what Max has to do well he's, he's, he's close enough now to, uh, to to realize he can win this race um, uh, but Johnny will be able to hear the Aprilia coming if he gets any closer than this and uh, uh, he'll be blocking him and, uh, and covering his lines uh, Coming into this corner here, the left, and then now the right. That's the last really overtaking opportunity that you do get around this track until the final chicane. Biagi's not close enough at this point, coming up to the final chicane to have a go at him. And now, I, Biagi's trying, he is trying. You can hear the traction control coming on the Aprilia, but uh, if Johnny keeps this together now through this fast king, coming up to the penultimate corner, Biagi's not going to be close enough for the final chicane. It's been an interesting race. It started with Checker out front, but he had to settle for third. Johnny Ray came through and managed to get the lead and has held it over Biaggi throughout the race. And as he comes down to the final corner, the famous Castrol Honda of number four, oh, Johnny Ray makes it three in a row here at Assen and his first win of 2011. What a time to do it for the home Dutch 10 Carter team. Second place goes to Biaggi, third goes to the championship leader, Checker. Melandri finishes fourth, Fabrizio does a great job for our star and takes fifth. Corsa finishes sixth overall, Laverty drops to seventh, and a very good result also for Ruben Zaus in eighth position. Yeah, it's great to see uh, uh, the, the local boys and the local team uh, doing well in, in, in the home race. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a very popular team. Uh, they have a a, a, a dealership actually just down the road from here, and uh, it is very popular. So uh, the, the team will have a lot of fans, a lot of sponsors here, uh, willing to do well here at Assen. And uh, Johnny did a great race there. He just seemed to he just seemed to grow with confidence. The more laps he did on that Honda, the more confidence he got with it, and the faster he got. Got to put a shout out to Australia's Mark Atchison. His top ten result, the best he's had in World Superbikes. He only joined World Superbikes this year. And that's a great result on the Pedicini Kawasaki to take 10th position, beating the factory rider at last course uh, in 11th. Haslam, in the end, did get in the points. He got uh, 12th position. Veneman got 13th. Sykes desperately disappointed with 14th. And Schmertz, 15th. So Pedicini Kawasaki to beat both the factory boys, well impressive. Kawasaki's got a serious problem, haven't they? Yeah, uh, definitely. For the tyre man, to, for the tyre uh, uh, to life, uh, they, they need to really work on that. It was the same as the old bike. The new bike's much better, but it doesn't seem to be much better. At Assen, well, Johnny rapidly, Jonathan Ray, Castle Honda rapidly becoming the sort of king of Assen, as it were. Uh, three wins in a row, and your first of the season as well. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I'm really proud and happy to give Castle Honda their first podium in the World Championship uh, this year. So. My crew worked really hard all weekend and we really made the right decision to, to go down the route of um, developing a bike for the race and you know it paid off in this, I got a good clean start, got to where my track position in early in the race and you know led from the, the start but I kind of was wondering whether to, to let Max pass and let him set the pace because I had a feeling he was just sitting there ready to pounce but in the end I made the right decision and, and won the race, I was really happy. So Jonathan Ray's season starts here you could say? Well, I'm not sure. You know, it's still very tough. You know, the guys at the, the top of the championship are riding well, but I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's got me here today. Uh, it's been a long, tough winter coming back from an injury and setting myself back in fellow Island. I couldn't have dreamt of being here, you know, two races later. So, you know, thanks very much. Thank you, Jonathan. Good stuff. And see you for race two.